Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life, and that that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent and to stand before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Today is the last day of the church year, so you could think of it as New Year's Eve in a way. And uh, tomorrow we start a new year with Advent, so tomorrow is the first day of Advent. And the church ends this year with a vision of heaven in that book of Revelation we just heard uh, read. And it's a beautiful vision. I mean, there's God the Father on his throne, and uh, Jesus is next to him, and then through the street of heaven comes this crystal clear river, which is the Holy Spirit. So it's a picture of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit there in heaven. And then the tree of life is there, and there's, it has abundant fruit every, every month of the year. And it's, it's a picture of peace. It's a picture of, of a place where there is no evil, and the sun shines there all the time, which is the brightness of God that comes out. And it's very desirous the way you, you read this, this picture of heaven. And uh, in our, at the end of the reading, there's a line where, where God says, you know, I'm coming soon. And then we join in with that in our responsorial psalm today with, uh, where we said, come Lord Jesus. It was uh, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. And Maranatha is from, um, it starts in Aramaic, so Jesus is native tongue. And it means, come, Lord Jesus. We pray that Jesus comes. So we, it's, we desire it. We want to go to this place that's described in, in Revelation. And then in our gospel, Jesus tells us to be vigilant. You know, stay on track. Get there. You know, like, we we're all vigilant when we came to church today. We didn't end up in the ditch. We didn't end up at the donut shop. We didn't end up at the casino. We came to church. We we stuck on course and we, made, we stayed on the path. And uh, God's telling us if we stay on the path, we'll make it to heaven too. So it's, it's a wonderful thing. So one, one thing that struck me reading that uh, reading from Revelation was every, all the saints there look on the face of God. And that's referred to as the beatific vision. And that's something that we all want to do. You know, all want to be in heaven so that we can look upon the face of God. And there's a little piece of that that also struck me and made me think of a homily on some readings we had a couple of weeks ago. It was, God is written on their forehead. So immediately I think of tattoos, you know, but I think what the, the Jews would think of in the time of Christ was that Pharisees wore phylacteries. So that was, and they would, it was like a little leather box on their on their forehead and it would strap and around their head and hold on their head. And in that little leather box would be key writings from scripture. You know, you know love, love God and love your neighbor, things like that would be in that phylactery. And so, you know, it was like, you know, when you see that person, he's thinking about God. And so uh, in that reading from Revelation, it said, you know, you, we would have the face, we would have God written on our, our uh, foreheads. And so the reading two weeks ago was something like, you know, the Pharisees are t pressuring Jesus, where is this kingdom of God, you know, show us. And he said, it's among you, it's within you. And so this Christ written across us, or God written across our forehead is really us living out a Christ life, uh, us being lights of Christ, if you will, so that people can see God in us because of the way we act. They see the kingdom of God in us. And so it's really a, 
you know, uh, it's a, a spiritual thing, you know, where we try to, to act like Christ. And so as we end this current year and we get ready to begin a new year, it's a good time to reflect. And that's what Advent is. It's a time for us to reflect. How did I live my past year? Did I reflect the face of Christ? Was I light of Christ? Through my prayer life, my prayer, my fasting, and my abstinence, did it help lead me closer to Christ? Did the actions that I did through, you know, helping the poor, feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, uh, the, uh, you know, visiting the imprisoned, the sick, uh, serving the poor, treating our neighbor, did those actions that I did help people see the kingdom of God? Did I reflect that light of Christ? And so, as we reflect on that, we have to remember, too, that Jesus, God, they want relationship with us. And we should work hard to have that relationship with them. And we nourish that relationship with God through our prayers and by the way we treat our neighbor. So, I guess, Happy New Year's Eve. <laughs>